if you'd like to buy the game you can use one of the links below and for an additional three dollars off you can use the code r3d now back to the video hello guys this is red from red's third dimension gaming and today i'm going to provide you with a brand new review on another dancing game return to the world of persona 5 with the latest iteration for the PlayStation 4, Persona 5 Dancing in the Starlight. Is this game better than Persona 4 Dancing All Night and Persona 3 Dancing in the Moonlight? Let's find out in this review. Persona 5D begins with our adorable Caroline and Justine recruiting our fan favorite thieving characters from Persona 5 to join their ball. The members Joker, Anne, and more get a chance to dance their hearts out in this side entry in the Persona 5 universe. There is no story mode in Persona 5 Dancing in the Starlight. Instead, after completing dance levels, you'll be able to receive interactive events with characters. I thought a lot of these were very interesting and funny. I like the characters and events in P5D way more than P3D. I'm sure many fans would have appreciated a story mode similar to P4D over this with its anime scenes and everything, but the scenes were very entertaining to watch. I really enjoyed the choices that I was able to make and the short little dialogue scenes. The game's gameplay is similar to P4D and might remind you of the Project D.Va singing games. In this game, there's less details and less things happening in the background while you're dancing. P4D has a lot more effects, Project D.Va has a ton more effects, and way better gameplay than this game. There are 25 fan favorite tracks by Soji Maguro to unlock in this game. You can also unlock trophies, new costumes, and accessories from dancing. Personally, I thought the songs were more catchy and fun to dance to in P5D. Dancing consists of using the D-pad, some of the normal PlayStation buttons, and flicking with the analog sticks. The game is pretty easy, but some of the faster songs can be quite difficult. You can play on easy, normal, and hard difficulties. The controls are very easy to get used to, and the songs in P5D help you keep your rhythm. In my opinion, I think the dances and songs in P5D are so much better than P3D's songs and dances. There's also an option to change from English to Japanese, this will certainly appease some fans. The controls include using the D-pad for single clicks. There are also double click moves, which is clicking two buttons at once. And holding controls, which is holding down a move and then letting go for a perfect, great, or good bonus. The scratching tracks move is a little more difficult, but it can increase your rainbow meter for a chance to unlock fever mode for extra points found this to be the most difficult because of having to click so many different buttons at once and then you have to flick the analog stick while clicking these other buttons. It can be quite challenging. You definitely don't want to play while being tired. I was tired very often because I would play this after I come home from work. The game does have a nice tutorial that will help prepare you for the entire game, the modes, progressing, and controls. It shows you everything you need to know. One more thing I wanted to mention about the game is that after completing some of the dances, you can go back and watch a perfect version of that dance in the same difficulty mode that you played it in. So you can't just play it on easy and then watch it on hard. You have to watch it on easy, but a perfect playthrough of that, which is pretty nice to watch because you might be able to focus more since you're not clicking everywhere and looking down at all. Overall, this game can feel a bit underwhelming when compared to P4D and Persona 5. P5D feels like the better game out of the recent releases. If you want all three games for a cheaper price range, buy the collection. If you must buy one of the dancing games, P4D and P5D are much better than P3D. P4D has a lot of anime scenes, which at the time when I reviewed it, I didn't think it was the best thing because I wanted more gameplay rather than you have to play through the entire story mode to unlock all these dances and everything, but I actually like that experience better than this. This is not as good as that. I'm giving this game a 6.5 out of 10. I really like this dancing game because of how great the soundtracks and dances are. However, it feels not as good as P4D, so I have to give it a lower rating than that game. If you are a fan of Persona 5, I'd definitely pick it up. $59.99 sounds like too much for this game, 
$40 price sounds like a better entry point. You can also pick up the Endless Collection for the PS4, which is $99.99, and you get all three dancing games. The Vita has a bundle, which is only $69.99, and those games are sold at $39.99 separately, which is a better price point. Even the Vita games, I would consider those should be starting at like $30, and the PS4 version should be starting at $40. It's not worth $59.99 in my opinion. I could probably go even lower on the rating, maybe a 6, because the price is so high on this game. If you would like to buy the game and help support my channel, you can use one of my links below to either buy a PSN card and then buy the game that way through Green Man Gaming or one of the links that I have down there. Or you can use the Play Asia link and get the physical edition and get lots of goodies if you buy the collection. And you'll get an extra $3 off if you use the code R3D with Play Asia. I'd like to give a quick shout out to my patrons for this month Mike Shadow24, Snizzy Snaz Bullets. Sten0328 and Yo-Yo Mongo. Thank you guys for being my patrons for this month. It really helps me with trying to buy all these Japanese games. Any amount helps because Japanese games are pretty expensive. If you would like to help support me, you can use any of the links below or you can donate to my patron for as little as a dollar a month. All whole ways up to a hundred dollars. You can donate as much as you want or as little as you want. It doesn't cost much and it does help me with buying newer games. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget the thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe. See you in the next review.